Be careful what you wish for because because it can become a reality. Yeah. The Untouchable True School Sports Empire proudly presents something the boxing game's missing. Here what's going on. It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Right, so it's one in the morning. We're at the airport on like a nine hour layover. We got time, so we're gonna kill some time, be productive here on True School Sports. Um, and catch up on some things we didn't talk about because uh, there was a fight out there in uh, Japan that happened between Jinjiro Shigioka and um, Pedro Tajuran from the Philippines and it was for the IBF title and, and, and um, Shigioka was a huge favorite he was a uh, big favorite uh, the Filipino came in like at a plus 1000 Pedro Tajuran been, been champion before won the IBF belt but was expected to lose this fight because uh, anybody who's been following the 105 division knows that uh, if Oscar Calaza wasn't the best 105 pounder in the world, it's either him or Jinjiro Shijoka. So the, the, the popular, popular line, of line of thought has been the fact that, you know, those two are eventually going to meet up. And um, apparently the Filipino, Pedro, he, he, he didn't get the message because um, he put on a, a, a really uh, solid, impressive power punching performance. Um, Jinjiro Shijoka is like a lot of Japanese fighters. He's... Um, very strong, very explosive. Uh, does very well when he when he's at mid range and can plant his feet and, and deliver those short, uh, straight punches down the middle. But uh, Pedro Tajiran did a great job of really just holding his ground and put putting this guy on his back foot. And when Jinjiro did not have the ability to to um, you know fight the way he's accustomed to. Um, he looked in trouble throughout the whole fight, and um, Pedro winds up stopping Jinjiro Shijoka in the ninth round and beat him really to a to a pulp. Beat the brakes off of him. Um, he had no uh, Jinjiro had no answers for him. He was getting his ass whooped slowly but surely, and um, it's crazy how quickly it's it's really crazy to me how quickly the landscape of this division has changed because you know you go back six to nine months ago when I made the videos about the, my, my first videos covering the Shijoka brothers. Um, they were looked at to be, apart from Oscar Colazzo, you know, some of the class of the division. And now, neither Jinjiro or Udai Shigyoka have their titles anymore. Um, Udai got his ass whooped by Melvin Jerusalem. And um, this guy got, you know, Jinjiro got beat up by Pedro Tajuran. So, you know, we had two Japanese champions, sub them out, get them off the court. We got now two Filipino champions. So shout out to the Filipinos, the Filipino people. Um... A lot of their fighters have been losing some title fights recently, but uh, or big fights, and and now in the in the low weight classes, they're they're making the presence known. And now all of a sudden, you know, you could look at if not against Oscar Colazzo, because Oscar Colazzo, um, I think now it, it, it's pretty apparent until somebody knocks him off, um, he's the class of the division. He's the best guy in the division. Until that happens, he's number one. But. Uh, now all of a sudden you you, you can get an all Filipino unification fight potentially between Melvin Jerusalem and Pedro Tajiran, which I think would be amazing because they both have um, the Filipino style uh, or at least the Filipino tendencies of just being really explosive. Um, Pedro does it out of the southpaw stance. Good precision puncher. Melvin Jerusalem is a bit more of a gunslinger in, in Melvin Jerusalem um, I think is I, I personally like watching Melvin Jerusalem fight a bit more I thought he put on a, an amazing performance against uh, Udai Shigyoka but um, that, that could be a, a hell of a fight I, I like that fight a lot and, and they both have similar paths because um, Melvin Jerusalem became champion lost to the Lazo, became champion again when he beat Udai Shigyoka Pedro Tajuran, you know, um, had the IBF belt, lost it. Now he's, he's won it in a fashion where he wasn't just an underdog. No, ladies and gentlemen, let, let me tell you something. This was one of the biggest upsets in boxing this year. Um, to be a plus 1,000 underdog and win says a lot about him. So um, that's what it is. And and, and, and I, I'm really intrigued to see the, the, the Shigyoka brothers, how, how they're going to rebuild from this. Because you look at Japanese boxing, right? I think because so many fighters are, are doing great in Japan right now, there's a tendency from, from hardcore boxing fans when you get Japanese champions to maybe even overrate them because um, 
you know, Japan is in that kind of form now as far as a whole as a country, that they're one of the most strongest boxing countries. You could even argue, you know, per capita, per weight class, you know, um, they might be the strongest country in boxing right now, just in terms of how they're performing. But, um, nah, man, it's, it's, it's uh, you know, we're, we're going to learn a lot about these uh these shit yoga brothers and see if if, if how, how good they really are obviously they had to be they had to be somewhat good you know pretty good because they don't just give out world titles but um now that they've lost it and they and and the thing is you die and jinjiro didn't just lose their fights they got they, they lost pretty convincingly they, they they both got beat up pretty bad so now it's not about losing the title it's how you come back after losing the title that that's what can really define how great a fighter is the level of greatness he has so um that's the news that those are my thoughts pedro Tajuran from from the Philippines becomes champion again and upsets Jinjiro Shiyoka, wi uh, widely considered to be quite possibly, if not the best 105 pounder in the world, at least number two behind Oscar Colazzo. So um, for now, that fight goes up in smokes and um, the division is gonna have to sort itself out again. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Make sure you guys take the time to subscribe. Or like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me. But I'm Justin K from Daniel. So until next time, take care. Thank you for watching another video on the untouchable True School Sports Empire. I'm at the Boxing Hall of Fame out here in Canfield in New York. And for more great boxing content just like this video, make sure you click and subscribe right over here.